Behold, now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Turn us again, O God of our salvation, that the light of your face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun, and may the poor be lifted up. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, turn a call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, in you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O God, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified hearts we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame, rather let those be put to shame who are treacherous. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your steadfast love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. You are gracious and upright, O Lord. Therefore you teach sinners in your ways. You lead the lowly in justice and teach the lowly your way. All your paths, O Lord, are steadfast love and faithfulness to those who keep your covenant and your testimony. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? You will teach them the way that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the land. You, Lord, are a friend to those who fear you, and will show them your covenant. My eyes are ever looking to you, O Lord, 
for you will pluck my feet out of the dead. Turn to me and have pity on me, for I am left alone and in misery. The sorrows of my heart had increased. Bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver us, may have, O God, out of all its trouble. Merciful God, you continually show us your ways of forgiveness and steadfast love. Remember not our sins, but recall your compassion to your children. Satisfy the longing of your people, and fulfill all our hopes for eternal peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In 572. A reading from Mark. 
In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In 517. Da, 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 da. Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. Help us who by deceit or sword would wrest the kingdom from your son and bring to naught all he has done. Lord Jesus Christ, your public known, for you are Lord of Lords above, defend your holy church that we may sing your praise eternally. O Comforter of Christless work, send peace and unity on earth, support us in our final strife, and lead us out of death to life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lovely servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from the thrones, and lifting up the lowly, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. 
You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel, to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For Elizabeth and Tracy, our bishops, our Stella, our director of evangelical mission, Kimberly and Dean, our assistants to the bishop, Matthew, our dean, our churchwide synod and congregation council, teachers, bishops, pastors, deacons, and all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who awake from the Lord, great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For all those who suffer the effects of the pandemic, for all those who care for them, for the sick, especially Phyllis, for all those in medical care, for all those who must work in vulnerable settings, for all those who are working to immunize the population, for all those who are working desperately to care for those who are lonely, sick, in prison, isolated, or in other means, for all those who find themselves suffering from depression or other mental illness, for all those who suffer from addiction, for those without medical care or coverage, for those who are unhoused, for those who go hungry, for those who are poor and desperate, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us in our address, 
rejoicing in the communion of Linda and Martin Luther and all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord, to you, O Lord. Holy God, Heavenly Father, in the waters of the flood you saved the chosen. And in the wilderness of temptation, you protected your son from sin. Renew us in the gift of baptism. May your holy angels be with us, that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to us, your children, an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In our pain, our weariness, and our anxiety, surround us with your care, protect us by your loving light, and permit us once more to enjoy health and strength and peace through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong, and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. In 624. Da 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 Jesus still lead on till our rest be won, and although the way be cheerless, we will follow calm and fearless. Guide us by your hand to the promised land. 
If the way be drear, if the fall be near, let no faithless fears o'ertake us, let not faith and hope forsake us, safely past the foe. To our home we go. When we seek relief from a long felt grief, when temptations come on warring, make us patient and enduring, show us that bright shore where we weep no more. Jesus still lead on, till the rest be won. Have we lead us, still direct us, still support us, or protect us, till we safely stand in the promised land? The peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me for Vespers this first Sunday in Lent. As I said in the Matins video, we'll continue to pray the Matins Vespers Compline on Sundays, but we'll be incorporating the study, sung, and contemplative prayers into those services respectively. So today we sang three hymns we might not have ordinarily sung. To incorporate what we would have sung in some prayer. Since we had the prayer of the day in the Lord's Prayer, we also had all of that content. I gave a bit of an introduction or a study of the readings of the day in Matins. You can research that video if you'd like to see that. And for contemplation, we will have a period of contemplation tonight at Compline. I hope you'll join me then or as soon as you can. Until the next time, God bless.